And so this is how you then moved into your next phase of, uh, of research, i.e. ocean chemistry. Yes, that's right. And so what are going to be the big questions for, that we should look out for over the next decade? And well, that topic? yeah, I, I think it's a really exciting topic. And we ran a short course at the start of the meeting here in Hobart just a few days ago where I invited some of the top um, geochemists who study ocean and atmosphere chemistry and changes like Tim Lyons, James Farquhar, who's the sulphur isotope specialist in that area, and also Kurt Conhauser, and our own team and, and a paleontologist John Long. Because I think the real breakthroughs in the next decade to 15 years are going to be understanding the relationship between ocean chemistry, evolution of life, and ore deposit cycles. I put them all into the same, same melting pot because there's obviously a relationship between ocean chemistry and evolution of life on the one hand. There's a relationship between ocean chemistry and, and cycles of sediment hosted ore deposits. So you put the three together and I think we're really challenging some of the major, major issues to do with um, not only ore deposit formation but how trace elements have controlled evolution of life in the, in the oceans. So it's still pretty exciting. Oh yeah, it's more exciting than ever.